rangers have many, many, many rangers like I've mentioned in a past video. But there were also a few groups of characters I wish to talk about. The robots, the sidekicks. Oh, you're so cute! I hate when people call me cute. Then for today's videos, the furries. I mean, the non-human animalistic characters that are obviously not human. So, furries. Just start the video, okay? Keza Henshin. Now, I am stating this video right now. I am not a furry. <laughs> But having been an OG Power Ranger Super Sentai Kamen Rider Toku fan for years, I've seen many amazing characters who weren't necessarily rangers, but still made a massive impact on the story in both the Japanese original version and the American version. So here are the top 10 fairies in both counterparts. Again, spoiler warning. Also, this is my own opinion. Maybe I missed your favorite furry or don't know them yet. So please let me know if I've missed any down below in the comments. I'm shortening this list of options too, so no villains except necessary. And sometimes in the Japanese seasons, they have rangers teams filled with animalistic characters. So I've had to choose one or two from a series. Anyway. Let's go! So to start us off at number 10, we have the annoying but slightly charming furry warts from Power Ranger Samurai. Thought I would add a funny one to start us off. And then we have Sensei Kanoi Watanabe, the guinea pig at number 9. He is an animal for most of the series, so I thought it made sense. And he's at the bottom as his CGI is a little funky and he's a bit annoying, as he's the teacher role still, but just a lot smaller. But did you know he's a hamster in the Japanese Hurricane version? I would have loved that. And he can't change back because he can't remember the words that would restore him to normal. Maybe a not a furry, but still. Look at this face. And number eight, we have an animal themed season with the Jew Olgers. And there are so many characters who are furries and animals in this season. But my favorite from the series was Amu. She was so cute and funny and had a great dynamic with the elephant ranger. And number seven, we have Jinji from Mystic Force and Smokey the Magical Cat from Magi Ranger. This cat is a fun time with genie powers and a cool cape. He is definitely one of the comic reliefs and is loyal to his friends, which is a great dynamic. He is also a bit of a scaredy cat. <laughs> Ignore the pun. But uses this to make him stronger. Literally. I wish I wasn't such a little scaredy cat. Next at number six is the Chanbinarian Jin. He is in the Japanese series Deca Ranger and looks like a builder bear combined with an Ewok. He's cute and has the awe factor for his character, but is a thief. But look at that face again. And oh my God, how can I forget? Oh, I'm gonna add another person to, to this number. I'm so sorry, but I have to mention Gyokuro. He is the original red that was supposed to work with Hoji and Jasmine and saw potential in Ban and technically is the first ever Red Ranger that we have had that's without a human form. Think about it. I'm adding him to this list. I don't care. This list is already up and down, left and right, and I'm confused already. So why not add another one in? At number five, we have Zenaku. Now, I know I said no villains, but this one I liked a lot from Wild Horse. He's a wolf duke org who held the Silver Ranger captive when Merrick put Zenaku's mask on. But something about his character, the mystery of when he first appeared and the flute music that plays when he's around is just a really nice touch. I mean, for a villain. <laughs> At number four, I have chosen two from the same series. I know that's not how top tens work, but wanted to include some from the same season. Also, as Eugene from the Try Guys says, I'm right, you're wrong, shut up. Respectively, as this is my list. Anyway, we have some Uchu Sentai Rangers. Garu as a wolfman and Show Rumpo, who's a freaking dragon. That's cool. No need to really explain this, but these do look like actual fairies and they have great characters. Unfortunately, this series is one that not many people talk about much and I didn't watch a ton of it either but I'm willing to watch it if there is a demand for me to review and discuss it in more detail. Also the fact that the new Power Rangers is using its swords so I might have to do a review on it anyway. But yeah, it's fine. Also, to finalize this point, it reminds me of Kamen Rider 4s, and space is cool. At number three, we have Master Mao from Jungle Fury, but mostly the Japanese original, Juken Sentai Gekka Rangers Master Shafu, as Master Mao is human till the last episode. Now, there are so many animal masters like Master Michelle Peng and Master Pyong Biao, but Master Shafu is literally big fluffy fellas cat who talks like an old wise man, drinks tea, and has the best part, bean paws. <laughs> and can literally take you on in a fight like no issues.
At number two, and these last two were hard to decide, is Anubis Doggy Kruger SPD, or Anubian Chief Doggy Kruger from Decca Ranger. They are both massive human-sized dogs, and their characters are just the best boys. They are strong, great leaders, and also have cool ranger powers. Also, did you know that Daggeron from Mystic Force is acted by the same actor who plays Anubis? Isn't that wild? Listen for it, and you can hear it. Solar Cell Morpher! See? Isn't that so cool? Now for some special mentions before we end our interesting lineup. Chunky Chicken, this is literally because he's a massive chicken and <laughs> those who know my streaming side know I love those Minecraft chickens. Next is Flit and RJ's wolf side from Jungle Fury. Now I love Jungle Fury and with Flit and RJ's friendship later in the season, I thought I would add them here together. Exactmundo. Flit is a fly and technically not a fairy, but thought he was worth the mention for the role he plays. And also RJ is a furry for like an episode, but I love the drama in this episode and the literal inner conflict. Oof, nice. And finally, Norg from Overdrive. He is a yeti, and I hear people like him from that series. For me, he was kind of annoying, but I'll give him the special mention anyway. And finally, for my number one of this top 10 furries list, my favorite furry of the whole series, has to be, for those OG fans, Torin from Kuryuja. I loved the design of Torin and thought he was a great mentor. Thought he had a really cool storyline and history to his character in the Japanese version. He is definitely brave and he may be one of my favorite characters in this season. If you want me to say why, let me know in the comments to do a commentary on Kuryuja and maybe compare it to Dino Charge and Super Dino Charge, the American counterpart. Another reason is chicken. Hold it, hold it, hold it. We have a special announcement. This bit is added after this recording. A new contender has just hit the scoreboard and with great reasons too. For the new number one or even let's say star plus candidate is the one and only Mufon. Understandably, look at them. One, they are in King Ojo, which is just an awesome series to be a part of. Two, they are a friend to all and emotionally available for cuddles. And three, so fluffy I'm gonna die! and for accepting of all genders, as you all should learn from Mufong. Though they are a plush, they are still alive for me and will win this top 10. Thanks for listening to my list of top 10 Sentai Furries. What next top 10 do you want me to do? I love discovering more about these characters and hope to do more, like robots, sidekicks, and villains! Oh my! Did you agree with my list or were there some that I missed? Let me know down below and I'll catch you in the next video. Kaza Henshin! Matane! Also, who's been watching King Oja? How cute is Mafon? And I just want to hug them. They're so fluffy and cute and ah! Oh. Imagine those hugs. Those hugs would be legendary!